Let me know in the comment section how y'all liking the camera. Do y'all like this? I got a new camera. I'm not using the phone anymore, so it should be pausing, glitching. The rabbit is back in full effect. Right now, we going to Truly. We got a little, not a little. We gonna, well, check it out, guys. We gonna check it out. When I was like two, by 25, I was about 550 pounds. I'm about to go on my blind date. I'm so oh my nervous. Gosh, stop. Dating is hard because men, they're just kind of like trash. Being big and you hear that, beautiful. fellas? I just feel like I am Fresh. fetishized. I'm a goal. Like, I'm a conquer. I don't want to have to question myself anymore in my relationship. I don't want to have to be insecure in my relationship anymore. Oh, my. Have you ever dated a plus size woman? Um, no. Was it First, their weight that stopped it, no. or just you guys just weren't compatible? Um, well, we, uh... So my look is like, I don't know, I'm very chic. Get out, and bro. And it's cute, and it's comfy, and I don't have to worry about tugging anything all day. My name is Jesus, Nina. I'm from start. I'm 35 years old, and I'm a full-time makeup artist. My mom said I started gaining Jesus, weight when I was like where do we start? I was 300 pounds by the time I was about 12, 13. I think I graduated high school around almost 400 pounds. By 25, I was about 550 pounds. I want to find love now because I feel like I know it's going to be real. You loved me then, and it's just like, let's ride off into the sunset with my, you know, my BBL and my, <laughs> my flat stomach. My that first oyster. Perfect. That's good. Oh, that's good. Dating like, is hard because please, would that be too much to ask for? They're just kind of like trash. Be yelling the flat stomach, please. When you see a fat person, you automatically think they are lazy, they stink. I go to the gym three, four times a week. I don't eat sugar. I don't, you know, I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. I don't three, go to fast food. My type two, aesthetically, um, Sorry, I like to pause this now. Contain myself so the microphone can glitch up and stuff like that. But oh my god. Of my frontal cortex, this part, the frontal lobe, bro. What do y'all hear this? She just said she goes to the gym three, four times a week. Cap, cap. I'm gonna play the video. Beard. I like full lips. I like a mysterious guy, but a confident guy. Look at her. In a perfect world, Look. I would meet him, and he would be my type, and I would be his type. I'm ready for my blind date. My name is Matt. I'm really been blind. years old. <laughs> I'm from the greater Philadelphia area. I know absolutely nothing about my date. Uh, this is a blind date. The so last um, one I, did I would be surprised uh, anyway. Uh, fragile bones. Cool. Hi. They were from Hi. Philly as well. My name is Nina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, okay. Bro, you look like a muskrat. <laughs> so how old are you? I'm not going to lie to you. Good, good. Yeah, so how old are you? This might be her uh, match. Well, I'm good, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 40. Okay, I'm 35. Because any okay. lower, you go into like a straight. That's a damn right cool, ain't it? I work for court. Nothing exciting. Nothing exciting? So would you do anything out of work? Like a goldfish. Um, <laughs> sadly, no, not really. I, no passion, not nothing? Why do you look really, like that? Uh, I'm a I'm a gamer. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that's like a like a stress reliever. Um, I don't know nothing about games at all. We um, know. I just know that guys like to play them. Yeah, I, I used to be in the music. Um, that's passion. Yeah, well, used to. I came a certain age and I kind of, you know, focus on more, I don't know, serious things. Um, that's something you can still do. See, I'm a, I'm a realist. You know, I'm a realist. I can't, you know, I'm not a, not a dreamer. <laughs> I'm a dreamer within a reason. I, I can't live in the house. A dreamer with the reality. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, okay, you know what? You can't be 40 something trying to compete with these younger people. So, when I say I understand, meaning I'm that person, like, you know, like the 41 year old rapper. You know, I, I'm an influencer on social media, but it wasn't because I tried to. It was just because I just influenced because of my size, because of the way that I dress. And I've always been like, not loud, but like, if I'm not loud, my outfit's loud. If I'm not loud, my hair, or my makeup, <laughs> or my tattoos. And I don't know, like, I, I guess I just get attention. Even if I didn't want it, it just happens. My family loved me so much that I actually never really felt the hate until so I left the house. My family always liked talking about how beautiful problem. I was. That's the problem. You stayed inside your house and you didn't normal, understand I guess. reality. And, um, that you know, I'm guessing being 300 pounds at like 13 me. wasn't probably the normal. But my family loved me so Eventually, much. Eventually, the cat um, came. I was delusionally confident because it's the only way that I could actually get through life. 
you do not have to be big to go through things in life. Like when they see a fat person like sad outside, they're like, oh, she's probably sad because she's sad. I'm like, I just had a bad day. Sorry. I just had a bad day. Like I wasn't even actually thinking about my weight right now, but damn, like, but because I- Because like you're huge. Sad, fat this people, not regular. Like, you assume oh, that's what they're saying. Poor thing. She probably just wants to lose weight. Like, no, you do. So you <laughs> don't want to lose the weight. That's even a busy. Can I go to the bathroom real quick? I'm sure. Okay. All right, all right, look when she gets up. I'll be here. Okay. I think the day is going good. I think he's a little nervous. So um, uh, I guess that's kind of like knocking my nerves out of it. Am I attracted to Matthew? Mm, he's a little different from my type. He's um, a little different from my handsome. type. Hello. What's her type? Very. So she ain't I attracted to him. I don't know how she says this picky though. You fat as hell. I'm sorry, people. I have to say. Um, it. No. So I now. So I mean, I, I have been on dates mm -hmm. um, with with plus size women, but I've never like. Oh, got to relationship yes, with them. Okay, okay, yes. okay. But you have been on dates with them. Yes. Was it their weight that stopped it, or just you guys just weren't compatible? Um, I think we weren't compatible. You weren't compatible. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that. She goes to three like times when I meet that person. Who the four times a week. You lying and that's fuck. What I'm like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if you're a little jaded, you're not gonna like allow somebody to get to know you. Subconsciously. Why well, get right? people don't get on this shit and just lie like that? I'm just saying. Like I feel like, like if I'm a very private person. Um, and you know, I don't feel that uh, most people. The like fuck you go to the gym and do? Know. Look at people Some work people out. Are so guarded. Yeah, ain't doing nothing. Even jump in relationships with people and truly won't expose who they truly are, but then get mad when the relationship doesn't work. <laughs> right. And I'm just like, it's not gonna work because I you're not telling me who you are. Right. So I can't understand you if I don't know who you fully, are. Yeah, right. So the person fully reveals himself. I am an open book. <laughs> fully reveals himself. Part. I am. This is not his final me. form. Not, not all of it's on He's gonna transform into a mirror. But most of it, I'm, pretty, I'm an open Yo, he look I'm weird as hell. Well, so I'm not trying to change the subject, but as a plus size woman, do you get Twisted tea light, the same real blue tea flavor. Oh, and I need to know. Fewer calories. Keep it twisted. If That's the question. Had struggles with dating. Have I been on dates? Yes, but I feel like for me, I've never been on that like traditional like the man picks you up, he like sets the whole date, he has like the movie, the dinner. I think the biggest thing is like uh, not being a fetish. Especially when I was 550 pounds. Like, I knew at that point it was literally just sex. Like, literally, it was just guys coming to my mom's house to have sex with me. We never went out. Like, I'm linking up would, and I'm drunk I, I, and, you know, I'm, coming over. Come on now. We're never going out with each other. Ever. I really want that fairy tale. Ever. I want that, like, the man that comes in and, like, Ever. Know, stuff that and I can't figure out. Shout out he to whoever those guys are that's doing that. That person I could, like, take my life with. It's like, crazy. Everything that happens in my life, I want him to be like right by my side. I don't Made want to have to question right. myself anymore in my relationship. I don't want to have to be insecure in my relationship anymore. Okay, wow. It has shed some light on some things that I didn't, yeah, I didn't know or understand. So wow. a lot of people don't, and I think some people okay, don't Matthew, live in that like world. Some people the, see me and like think nothing. Just another like. normal, normal <laughs> human being. But for one of you, it's a thousand that do. Like, of course, you know, I, I do have a big Matthew, one of those guys. But also, what that being said, like with social media, is like they get it 24/7, and then people meet me and they're like, oh, like, you're pretty calm, and I'm like. I'm not big sexy 24 7. Like, I'm Nina. <laughs> like, is your social media, is your, um, like your podcast, like, is that like your primary, like, you know, like job? No, I'm a full time makeup artist. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me just talk. I'm a full time makeup artist. Okay. I was always like the fashionista in my friend group, and it just trickled into like doing their makeup. And then it just kind of snowballed. Be <laughs> Matthew's one of those guys that just try to come over and have sex in their mom's house. His cover has been blown. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you the exact moment where he realized his cover was blown. Hold on. <laughs> Matthew got one of those fetishes because look at him. It's no way he just pulling regular females. You know what I mean? He oh he he's one of those guys. He gotta prey on the you know, the, the the big ones. Like with social media is like they get it. Hold on, look at him. 
the whole time he said he's like what the fuck oh but you're pretty calm and i'm like i'm not you're obsessed 24 7. like i'm nina like is your social media is your um like your podcast like is that like your primary like you know like job no oh no yeah first. okay oh yeah let me just talk about i'm a full-time makeup artist okay i was always like the fashionista in my friend group and it just trickled into like doing their makeup and then it just kind of snowballed because um when I moved back to Philly, I started doing social media more. I started doing more with fashion, makeup, and it just snowballed. Bro, I was wondering how a person this <laughs> big is my even alive. It kind of all ties into why I think You're more fascinated than anything. Hey, well, Nina, I had, a, I had a really great time. I really didn't have No, he did not. He didn't have a great time. <laughs> he blew his fucking cover. Nina. Hold on. Everything that happens in my life, I want him to be like right by my side. I don't want to have to question myself. I'm gonna show you how my relationship. Hold I don't want to have to be insecure in my relationship anymore. Okay, wow. That's, that's <laughs> like some, you. some things that I didn't, you know, I didn't know or understand. So. Wow. A lot of people don't, and I think some people don't live in that world. Some people see me and think nothing. I'm just another norm, normal human being. But for one of you, it's a thousand that do. Like, of course, you know, I, I do have. A but Did you see the quagmire shape like this? Like he knew his cover was blown. And then people meet me and they're like, oh, oh, Jesus. Like, pretty calm. And I'm like, I'm Where not big sexy 24 7. Like, I'm Nina. Like, is your social media, is your, um, like your podcast? Tell me they out in the world. Like, you know, like job? No, I'm a full time makeup artist. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me just talk about I'm a full time makeup artist. Okay. But I was always like the fashionista in my friend group. And it just trickled into like, interested. doing their makeup. Trust. And then it just kind of snowballed because um, when I moved back to Philly, I started doing social media more. <laughs> I started doing more. Let me tell you how the Makeup, and it just snowballed. It's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. It's my work impressive. and my personality, everything kind of all ties into why I think I'm so successful at this. Hey, well, Nina, I had, a, I had a really great time. I really did have a good time. I enjoyed meeting you. Good conversation. You ready to go? Good yeah. conversation. Right, let's go. I think the date went well. Um, I like that even if it doesn't go past this, I think I opened him up to like things that he never knew, never thought about. No, you didn't. Overall, I think no, it went well. Um, I, I was comfortable. Um, we had good conversation. Look at this face. He's forcing that shit to come out. I would be down to go out to dinner again. I think you're a good conversationalist. Um, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was good, good conversation. Yeah, he it, 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 was, it was good. He, notice he didn't say, yeah, I'll go out again. He said, yeah, it was, it was, it was, just, it was just good conversation. For the company. And a bite. I have broke so many barriers oh, no, back. being my size. No, you haven't. What the fuck barriers you broke? Hey, you'll be a house, the foundations of your house. Can I think you're a good conversationalist? Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was good company. Yeah, it was good company. Yeah, good company. There you go. So Notice he did not say I'm going back out with this size. lady. It's hard, okay. but um, for the most part, I really push through. You only got one life, and I'm living the hell out of mine. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to her confidence, but bro is definitely ashamed he even got on this show. Because he didn't know what he was getting into. He looked fit, too. He just got a weird face and head. He's like a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> and she big as hell, too. Big girls with too much confidence is too much. Can't be too big and have too much confidence, y'all. You got to bring it down a little bit. Be humble. Know that you gotta hit the gym. Like, it's okay if you're gonna be this confident, but just know you ain't gonna end up with the body. Or it's gonna be like a Norbit and Respucia uh, situation. <laughs> Shout out to them. Shout out to her. Shout out to Bro Bullet. I'll see y'all the next one. Check out my last video.